Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Gabriel Kelly, I'm the director of the Adelaide Thinkers in Residence. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge that we're meeting on Ghana land and we acknowledge and value the spiritual beliefs of the traditional owners, the Ghana people, and I particularly welcome any Ghana elders we have in our audience this evening. I'd also like to welcome Mr Mark Goldsworthy, the member for Cavell, Shadow Minister for Road Safety, and Mr Ivan Venning, the member for Schubert, and any other MPs or ministerial advisors who are with us this evening. Welcome to our early evening gathering to welcome Professor Fred Wegman to share with us his extensive knowledge about road safety. The Adelaide Thinkers in Residence welcomes you tonight. It's a world's first social innovation premised upon on the following idea, that all living systems, including natural and human systems, evolve and change, and that the deliberate introduction of new ideas and high quality thinking into our human systems of organisation, our society, all of us, will positively affect the direction and pace of change of that society into the future. That's why we're here. The Adelaide Thinkers in Residence program does this by bringing leading edge thinkers to live and work in South Australia, to generate new thinking, to provoke change, to ignite action and to achieve lasting, tangible results for our society. But Fred, you'll be happy to hear that you're not thinking alone. You met a number of colleagues from Parliament last night and you had a reception with the Premier and here this evening you have a cross-section of nurses, engineers, traffic and civil engineers, researchers and academics, local government councillors, insurance, insurers, information communication experts, road safety and transport specialists, vehicle safety technologists, driving school personnel, police educators, statisticians, health professionals and I'm pleased to hear the crash investigators are here. So you see we have a big community of road safety uh, experts and interested parties from South Australia who've come here and I must say we had over 350 booked in tonight which is a much larger than normal showing for an introduction to our thinker. So I think this is a statement of just how interested South Australians are in this topic. South Australia thinks with our thinkers and supports the emergence of new possibilities, new actions, new ideas and smarter behaviour quickly. That's what it's all about turbocharging the selection of the right path to the future, using the best brains that we've got and the best of our will in the world. To this end, we've publicised your arrival, Fred, already, as you know. Starting on day two, we, we had some uh, uh, media reports in the news and on the television, and we got a robust public response, which we welcome. We were very pleased about it. To that end, we've also created a blog, a blog for Professor Wegman, and I'd like to give you all of the address, and you can follow the link to the blog from our website, www.thinkingroadsafety.com.au. That's an opportunity away from the government site away from the thinker's site for anyone in South Australia to put their views forward to Professor Wegman and to be heard. We're serious about trying to promote the community conversation in this topic as part of this residency and we would love your help there. Our partners also think with the thinker and I welcome particularly and thank our partners in this residency. South Australia Police, RAA, Motor Accident Commission, Department of Education and Children's Services, Department of Transport, Environment and Infrastructure, the City of Unley, the University of Adelaide, Flinders University and University of South Australia. You know who you are and you've already begun the work. You know and we know that we'll continue this hard effort until well after Fred leaves us. It is the people here and very often the people in the partner group, people on the ground who will choose or not choose to drive forward Fred's ideas and recommendations for change. So we know we're all in an active change process and I sincerely welcome all of you here tonight into that process. In our seven years of operation, the Adelaide Thinkers in Residence program has had outstanding success. It's delivered positive changes into South Australia quickly. And I keep saying the quickly word because the future's going to come anyway and change happens all by itself. But what is open to the leadership group of a society is what kind of change and when. And by entering into a change process like this where we actively and consciously focus on an area as important of road safety, we know we're going to get a better result than if we just amble forward into the future. So I think it's very high stakes work. Since 2003, the program has resulted in way more than $200 million worth of investment into programs and infrastructure. It's resulted in major policy advances in health, in water, in sustainability and innovation, which now leads South Australia into having a leadership position in a number of areas, including renewable energy and water. 
We have new structures and organisations which have been created. Many of you would know the RI Oz, linked to the RI in London, which promotes science education, with $15 million funding from the federal government very recently. We've created the Bioscience Incubator in Theberton, and they've managed $35 million investment into that industry. The Common Ground Initiative to deal with the really serious and difficult challenge of, of, of homelessness and long-term homelessness has, has launched $150 million worth of investment into 600 residential units across Australia. That is, they are investments and that is housing for 600 people which would not have been there if Roseanne Hegarty hadn't come here and talked to us about her model and her ideas for homelessness. Equally, we've launched the Australian Centre for Social Innovation and the Australian Science Media Centre. So the overall impact of the program in South Australia is transformational and I am prepared to assure you will be transformational in this residency too. We've begun the residency, we've already had some meetings, Fred started work the minute he arrived, a number of our stakeholders have met with Fred, we will go to Mount Gambier just for your information and to other regional centres and Fred will get a chance to drive on our roads uh, both now and later when he comes back uh, in November. Through informed debate and by fostering critical thinking and innovation on road safety, Fred will challenge our thinking and he will help us save, li save lives. So who is this person, Fred Wegman, who you'll meet personally in a moment? Professor Fred Wegman is one of the world's most respected road safety experts. Managing Director of SWAV, the Institute for Road Safety Research in the Netherlands, Fred is involved with scientific, engineering, transport and safety organisations all over the world. The Netherlands, as many of you would know, is one of the best performing countries in terms of road safety, with a fatality rate that's 40% lower than that in South Australia. This is largely due to the sustainable safety approach that they've adopted, which aims to make road safety use safe for everyone, road use, I'm sorry, safe for everyone, prevent crashes from occurring, and most particularly to reduce crash severity. Fred is the president of the International Traffic Safety Data and Analysis Group, a member of the steering committee of the Road Safety Performance Index, European Traffic Safety Council, and chairs the core advisory group of the Global Road Safety Facility in the World Bank. All very prestigious groups and organisations, part of the leadership group in the world who are all addressing this serious issue of road safety, which all countries share. While in Adelaide, Professor Wegman will contribute to the development of the next State Road Safety Strategy 2011 to 2020 and to specific road safety initiatives for South Australia. Fred, it's my pleasure to introduce you to this wonderful audience here and to introduce you to Professor Fred Wegman. Over to you, Fred.